Fred, it doesn't look like this place could hold 50,000 fans for a game. Well, it was one of the inherent parts of the design of Mr. Hope when he designed the stadium, was to make it a friendly, comfortable place. And in so doing, uh, it doesn't look like it'll hold 50,000, but it does. In the design of the stadium, they have turned every seat to face the center of the field, which makes it, once again, very entertaining to sit and watch because you are watching the center of things, like you're looking at center stage in a arena or theater. Then in 69, the Padres uh, began uh, their tenure. Pitch on the way to Garvey. Hit. Garvey's home run. I mean, that's, that's something that, you know, it's always going to stick with you. The Padres win it! The crowd, just in unison, on their feet, screaming really to the top of their lungs. It was absolutely electric. I think that was the most dramatic moment here at Qualcomm Stadium. By the time the team arrived at about 8.40 p.m., the fans were frenzied. San Diego had finally come of age. A teary-eyed Junior Seau echoed that sentiment. Now, the world, the world, the world, the world. is going to know. Going to know. Right. Not about Junior Seau. Not, Not about Nate Romney. Me. Not about Stan Huff. Not about Leslie O'Neill, but the San Diego Chargers. It's history being made right now, right now. This is first time Charger history. Find some kind of crazy people. What brings you out here? What's, what's the excitement out here? Party. Music! Party! What do you think, man? All the weird people. Headlining the concert, Blue Oyster Cult, Pat Travers, UFO, and Cheap Trick.